heavyweight matchup. McKee, two years younger than the Brazilian Claudio. This fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record. 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 169 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, by way of Rondonopolis, Mato Grosso, Brazil. Claudio Hannibal Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. 20 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Orem, Utah, court the crusher! McKay! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson is back in the octagon. I blew it last time. I forgot to mention that he doesn't tolerate any nonsense. No nonsense. That's his Please. name. That's all. Sir, are you ready? Sir, are you ready? Fight! As he just did there. Underway three possible rounds. Court McGee's in the blue. Claudio Silva's in the white. And they've got a minus 110 coin flip on each side of this matchup. Ooh, Coy just ate a head kick there from <laughs> Silva. But you know, when you watch Court McGee fight, that's kind of what happens. Oh, the I man was just going to say, shots, sounds about something Court would do. Yeah, but he's kind of like a zombie because he will always walk forward. Now, I saw him a few months ago at the PI working with a strength and conditioning coach. And if you look at him, he does look in some of the best shape we've seen him. The shoulders are a little fuller. Looks to be in fantastic shape. The story of Court McGee is just inspirational, and quite unbelievable. After high school, got into drugs, battled addiction for a long time, was homeless. And since then, he can tell you, I don't know what it is now. I know one fight week he told me, 4,512 days sober, you know? He's, yeah, he's okay. And he does non-narcotic surgeries, uh, same as Jared Gordon. And he certainly uses his platform to help others battle in the same thing. One minute in, heavy exchange in the center. Ah, uh, Jared. Oh, man, he can't die. Nice timing there. That was an Beautiful Oklahoma timing. drill in the center of the octagon yeah. right there, yeah. This is big for court, but he's going to have to watch himself down there. Claudio Silva is a high-level jiu-jitsu practitioner. And he's got his guard now. That's what that's what Claudio wants. Silva wants to be in his guard. Start isolating arms. You see already he's got that overhook on Court McGee's left arm. Look, he's going to no try to hold stranger. that there. He's no stranger to this position. Of course, MMA, you train everywhere. And coming up against somebody like Silva, you're going to put yourself in this position many times in training camp. And this is good for Court. You know, he's going to control him here. He needs to get busy, though. He needs to do some work. We see Silva kicking for a sweep or an arm bar here. Well, Silva Paul recognizes it and backs out the guard. Silva's a quick worker as well, I was going to say. He's got 11 finishes in his career. Nine of them have come in the first round. Wow. Great Look balance, balance. from McGee. Yeah, Silva tried to treat up in there. Still managed to stay on the feet. Wow, beautiful work there from Paul McGee. Got that leg completely back and broke away. Nice work. Silva really put a lot of effort into getting that takedown. That's, um, that's got to be disappointing for him right now. Yeah, as you said, a lot of energy. Oh, oh. Whoa! The right hand. That found the mark. That got his attention. Yeah. The body shot as well from court. Yeah, those body shots are going to pay off. He uses that straight right to the body a lot. And Claudio, we have seen historically as the fight progresses, he does slow down a little bit. Certainly by the third round, the output isn't as high. Is as high, pardon me. So for... For court, that's a great oh. strategy. Work that body, keep chipping away. Another level change attempt from Silva. Yeah, Silva getting a little desperate for some of these shots, so he's got to set him up with punches, put something in front of court where he's going to D that up all day and start attacking with beautiful counter shots. We see it already. He knows they're coming. And court's a strong guy, man, and he's been in there with some of the best at welterweight and middleweight. And the problem for Silva, he, he kind of telegraphed that takedown. So by doing so, he's kind of set out the stall. 
the kind of approach that he's using in this fight. I mean, we know he's a good grappler, so he wants to take people down, but you've got to disguise it a little better than that. You can't run in from halfway across the octagon. You've got to use the hand, set it up, get a reaction, get them to bring their hands up and then shoot. But hey, what do I know? I mean, I know, I know nothing about wrestling. What are your credentials, Michael? Uh, nothing. Under a minute to go, first round. Silva holding the position, neutralizing the attack of Silva. And right now, McGee's just being patient. There he goes. Now he's going to start trying to dig that underhook or push on that arm. He's looking to switch it up. Silva is to a single leg now. He's got to watch just leaving his head in there as well because Court doing a nice job of stuffing that head in between his legs. Wow. He's going to hip into that. Nice work there from Court McGee. Yeah, very nice work. And again, see the explosive movements there from Claudio Silva. He tried for the takedown for a long time. That's very grueling, very tiring. When he didn't get it, then he exploded to try and take the back. The very big movements. And look at that, talking of big movements. Go on, Court McGee. Yeah, a little flying roundhouse. Oh, uh -oh. heavy left from Silva. Can McGee survive these final seconds of round one? Round two coming up. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Hey, let's relax. Hey, you back control of this. Deep breath. Deep breath. Just keep that elbow in tight. Remember, let's put that weight on that back leg and let's sit down on that right hand. Shoot that right, right at his chest. Okay, it's open. He's got his you gotta put him on the cage. Put him where you're stronger with the grappling. Sir, you ready? Sir, you ready? Fight! Round number two between Court McGee in the blue, Claudio Silva in the white. Silva, zero of five on takedown attempts through the first frame. Did land a big strike at the end of the round. And now it's McGee looking to lock things up potentially. In the corner of McGee saying, fire that right hand at the chest. That's exactly what he did. And that's good advice against somebody that's trying to clinch and trying to take you down. Because when they try and shoot in, they lower their base a little bit. So if you punch at the chest, oh. you got a good chance of finding the mark just like he did there. Yeah, just that case in point right there. As soon as he threw that right hand, it was down lower. And you saw Claudio Silva le level change just the slightest bit. He's in on the legs now. He's got his hands locked. He's under the butt. He's gonna try to push him off. He's cutting the angle. Nice work here. It is. He's trying to collapse him. He's gonna reach through, grab that hand. He can't do it. Good job from Court. Court's trying to keep his back yeah. up on that fence so he can scrape that arm off and stay safe and not have his back taken. Nice work. That's big. That is big for Court McGee. He made a mistake in the takedown defense. He got taken down. He was able to get right back up. Throw him off him. Now he's spawning on a takedown here as well. Excellent defense. And this is just going to crush the spirit of Claudio Silva because yes. he had him where he wanted him. He expended so much energy to get him down. He got right back up, and now look at this. Yeah. It's caught on top. Yeah, the body language is not great on Silva after he backed off. Did land the takedown, but... As you said, unable to do anything with it, spent a heck of a lot of energy to do so. Well, and there were some, some classic stall techniques, too. I don't know if the audience was in with us yet, but it took him a little minute to get off the stool. Had to be yelled at a couple times, Claudio Silva, to, to get yeah, back to action. He was taking some big, deep breaths yeah. in between that round. And Court is known for his conditioning. Get the gambler's perspective by checking out UFC on the line exclusively on Fight Pass. Yanni the Greek and Nick Kalikas join me to break down all the best bets for every big event. Next episode is June 3rd, 7 Eastern, only on UFC Fight Pass. And you know, as you mentioned, Brendan, Claudio Silva obviously has that big win over Leon Edwards. 
but I will see that and I will raise you Court McGee beating Robert the Reaper Whitaker. There you go. A long time ago. So both these guys taking out some stellar competition. Again, a very, very long time ago. So no offense, yeah. Yeah. if you're watching. It was the UFC debut of Leon Edwards when he faced Silva. Court McGee staying busy on top here, now switched to top half. Yeah, what we're seeing here is a tired Silva, to be honest. I mean, Silva is the better jiu-jitsu guy, but Court has top position, and Court's in better condition. Oh, and he almost got mount position there. Got to be careful. Look at that, though. Oh. Nicely recovered by Court. You can see the skills of Silva looking for these sweeps. He just does not have the energy in the tank to back them up right now, and Court does. So he recognizes that and has just been countering all of these sweep attempts so far. Get tangled up here. Got to watch that heel. He's going to kick on the butt with that right leg. Oh, he can step over, but he's got to be careful, though. Can't play these games. Hopefully, for court's sake, it's not around the heel. Doesn't seem to be. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Yeah, oh, man. That's really good. I mean, you can't play defense Keep if you're trying to hit my way on the heel. That's how you defend. That's the heel how hook. you defend. <laughs> they were heavy. Yeah, this but could now be the end here. Now Silva's in trouble. <laughs> Final minute to go, round two. Mickey, all sorts of pressure into okay. full mount and an elbow. He's got a lot of time. I mean, 45 seconds. Looking for the arm triangle. Yeah, if you're Corey McGee here, don't get too excited. The fight's going well. He's sensing He's a finish. It. You can smell a finish. He's going to step off to the right side now. That yep. left leg step over to the right and then squeeze. You can't get it from mount position, but it's very difficult. Certainly against a guy like Silva. He's going to step over to the other side, lower his base, and squeeze with everything he has. Yeah, you see Silva desperately trying to keep a wrap on that left leg of Corey McGee so he can't step over. But it's so tight with so much pressure and court so strong you in this position. You can hear Silva just squeezing that oxygen into his lungs. Final seconds, Silva survives. Wow. Round three coming. Brown McGee entering his 22nd third round. Less than 10 in the career of Claudio Silva. Round yeah. two, any indication? Court McKee, the fresher fighter. That's by not for me. By far the fresher fighter. Ooh. Wow, but a body kick. Silva selling out here. But this is actually good for Court McGee. If he can weather this storm, if Silva comes out, empties his tank, trying to throw big wild kicks and punches because he feels his tank is almost empty. So therefore, try and empty it. Oh, bobbled him with the left. But Court McGee doesn't even look tired. Right hand connects. Oh, these guys are slugging it out here in the third. Oh, oh peek inside the leg. Oh, man. I'll tell you Swinging what, I miss. appreciate that Silva is going for right now in the third round. He knows he's yeah. got to be down, especially after that second round where you were getting owned on the mat and almost submitted, but he survived. Oh, big right hand. But like Michael said, that might be just not enough in there to get him through this third round at that kind of pace. I mean, listen, I respect it, though. Is yeah, that, of course. I, 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 it's what you have to do. I've got the light on. I can't, yeah. I can't make it to a gas station, so screw it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to swing with everything I've got. But now we, you see he's just tired. He's very, very tired. And right now, Silva is fighting on pure heart and determination. That was an easy takedown for Court McGee. And if we're being honest, Silva was saved by the bell at the end of the second round. So three minutes 30 to play, a lot of time on the clock. Let's see what Cork can do. And this is where the challenge is, right? You, on the feet, you can fire your big shots. But now once you're on the bottom of Court McGee with three minutes to go. I mean, listen, for Silver, he's been there many times. You know, as a jiu-jitsu guy, even if you're tired, when you've got the, 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 the skill, the technique, you can tie them up a little bit and try and stall them. But of course, when it comes to mixed martial arts, you can punch them in the face, you can elbow in the face. It's a game changer. In two weeks, the UFC is back with a big time heavyweight matchup. Don't blink as Suriname's Jairzinho Rosenstroy takes on Brazil's Augusto Sakai. Main card gets going at 7 Eastern with the prelims at 4. Entire night exclusively on ESPN+.
We'll be at the same table again in two weeks, Miss Oh, yeah. Felder will be preparing for his triathlon, right? Yep. June yep. 6, June for 6 you? baby. Ironman Virginia. Blue Logging Ridge. those miles. 12 Bob today. McGee, I am punching, punching, punching with that right hand non stop to the face. He can't defend it. He's got one arm around his waist. Just tee off on him right now. A little harder than that, please, I would say. <laughs> And Silva is showing his heart. He's trying oh, yeah. to get back up, stay in this fight. Yeah, he used that underhook very well. Oh, big yeah. elbow. He is over swinging badly now. I mean, Court saw that coming a mile away, ducked right under, beautiful takedown. And this makes all the sense in the world for Court. He knows that the chance of a submission threat or a patented Silva armbar off his back is not going to happen this deep into a round with that much exhaustion. And the corner of Court McGee in between rounds said, hey, this is how you feed your family. This is how you feed your children. That is tremendous motivation. If I'm Court McGee, I'm trying to get a finish right now, trying to seal this victory and really put a stamp on it and let the let the world know and the organization, hey, I'm not done. I'm still here. I can still be a contender in this weight division. Because i got to say, Court McGee looks sensational right now. Sixty seconds left for Court McGee to put the finishing touches on this one. What does Silva have left to offer from bottom position here? Guard closed, firing some elbows. Silver every time he, he swings that left leg like a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pendulum. A pendulum. Swings it like a pendulum. Tries to hit a sweep or set up an armbar. Problem is he's too tired. Not enough force. Not enough momentum. And Court McGee at this stage, he just kind of one step ahead. But he tried it there. Went the opposite direction. And there's a triangle attempt. Yeah, court all over it though. Slips both arms right back in. It's about a time. We got 20 seconds in this fight. Of course, she's trying to hold on now. Burn out the clock, 15 seconds. He recognizes I'm not going to get a finish. I'll just tie you up, eliminate the threat of a submission, and seal this victory. Final horn, and you got to appreciate the effort.